everybody my name is analytical plum and welcome back to my channel for today's video we are reacting to episode four of the bad batch i know it's come so quickly i don't i can't even fathom that we're already on episode four i just wanted to highlight the time frame of the episodes if you weren't already aware of them because there are going to be a couple of weeks where we are going to have double episodes here it is in case you didn't know i'm really hoping this episode is continuing omega and crosshair's story i just i want to know what happened i want to i need to know that they're safe but before we begin i would appreciate if you would consider subscribing i do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you do like my bad batch reactions or just my reactions in general i would appreciate if if you like this video it helps me out a ton and without further ado let's get on watching the next episode I could use some help up here a constant down I can't contact hunter that's not the priority the ship sustained heavy damage. Oh, I'm so happy with seeing the continuation of their story. I don't think I would have been able to cope with having another week go by without seeing what happened to them too. Thank you, Feloni. I can see this. Get the stabilizers online. That's what I'm trying to do. With how much static and electricity there is, maybe you can make a small. Although I suppose they could barely get out with their lives. I doubt they have chocolate and marshmallow. We have to land. It's a little hard to do when nothing's working. Hey, you can land. Just not gracefully. Yeah, I don't the think you can recover that. Ever to repair. We need to get the nav reader online to extract the coordinates to Tantus for when we go back. We're not going back. Your heart's in the right place, but I don't think this is the time or place. <laughs> I don't even think they can't even get a fresh pair of, I don't know, socks. I, I don't think they should be thinking about other people right now. We left the other prisoners behind. The Empire is going to be searching for this ship and us. True. We have to move. I scanned a spaceport a few clicks east. We'll start there. I don't know why, but clicks is just very satisfying to hear for me. Again, no idea why. Oh. Omega managed to escape this facility and flee the planet. Leave her alone. Along with CT-9904. That is most surprising. Is it? I never understood your attachment to the young clone. Now it's clear why you kept her so close. Suspicious that all the samples you've taken from Omega never yielded results. Yet one tested by Emery indicated a positive M count transfer. Well, I mean, maybe her genetic coding just decided it wanted to cause a fuss that day, you know? It could be something else. False positives are to be expected. See? Something. The result is nothing but an aberration. Once Omega's brought back, the tests of validity will be confirmed. Your future, however, is less certain. Oh no. I said this before, but I I think that the Kaminoans, the way they talk, reminds me of Circus Baby from FNAF. Very articulate and they're very slow in how they talk. I don't know, they're completely opposites, but they just sound the same to me. Empire couldn't have followed us here that quickly. They didn't. That's a standard patrol presence. Let's find a way to send a message to Hunter and Wrecker. We can't. They monitor long-range comms. We can't walk around like this. You're the one who wanted to bring the hound. Yeah, we couldn't leave Batcha behind. She did so much for them. She helped them escape. And she's pretty cute. Isn't this better? No. <sighs> they look absolutely fabulous. You could definitely be on the front of the magazine. New plan. Let's get to the spaceport and sneak under one of those shuttles. Maybe a tad bit tricky without a chain code. It's too well guarded. We'll never slip past all those troopers undetected. 
I can take out at least half before they know what's happening. Well, I mean, that was before you were horrifically tortured. I'm, I'm not quite sure that you're going to cut it anymore, I'm afraid. I don't know, maybe it will come back, you know. I mean, he was, as I said, just tortured, so, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he had the shakes. <laughs> or you could try a way that doesn't involve blaster fire. Like what? Watch and learn. I can hardly wait. I love that dynamic. We'd like two tickets on the next shuttle, please. Chain codes. We lost our chain codes. No chain codes, no passage. You see, a problem for us could be an opportunity for you. If, Aww. say, you knew of an alternate way of booking passage without a chain code. Oh, look at her growth. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I should take a bribe? Definitely. If that's what you want to call it. Then that could be arranged for 15,000 credits. For two tickets? Per ticket. And it's non-negotiable. You're lucky I'm not charging extra for the creature. Oof. Where do you expect us to get 30,000 credits? Don't come back without the credits. Well, that went well. Stow it. Storming the spaceport would be easier than finding 30,000 credits. I don't want to hurt anyone. Don't be naive. Every second we're here, we're at risk. Then quit wasting time complaining. She's been a proper sassy, isn't she? I'm really liking this side of Amiga. I think I know how we can make some fast credits. <gasps> she of could do, a, you do her game thing, like she did at Sid's partner. You want to hustle someone? I've done it before. And I prefer to think of it as a temporary requisition of funds. And bet with what? We don't have anything. They don't know that. Exactly. Oh, who's next? I'll give it a try. <laughs> this shouldn't take long. Oh, bless her. She's so sweet. Like, you forget how young she actually is. And she has some moments where she's just like... She's adorable. I'm getting crushed here. How about one more game? My luck has to run out eventually. Uh, that's true. Not with you, Amiga. Uh oh. Business looks good today. A new camera has pulled in quite the crowd. And business should be good for me today. Affirmative. Oh, okay, okay. One more game. No, you need I to think skadoodle. I'll while I'm ahead. Yes. Leaving so soon. You're in my seat. You think you're good at this game? Want to try against a uh, real opponent? I'm good, thanks, mate. That shuttle looks like one of ours. Yeah, we better check it out. You know, don't seem to like me. Neither does anybody else in that area. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know what could give that away. She's a distraction. Get rid of her. Oh, bloody English people. Am I right? I've seen you or your dad around before. We're just passing through. Oh, it looks like the captain is heading towards a victory. You seem to have misunderstood your enemy. Did I? I've taken that's a good thing. That is game over. Yay! I'll take those 20,000 credits. I concede. You beat me. Fair and square. Patrol found a crashed Imperial vessel on the outskirts of town. I wasn't notified about any shuttles arriving today. Now, hang on a minute. <laughs> We're not on here. I think we are, please. The stove's on, I left it on. I need to go turn it off. You haven't paid your fine. What fine? Gambling's illegal in these parts. What? The law's the law. Now all you've got to do is pay the fine, and I'll be on my The audacity! Way. How much? 10,000 credits. Unless you prefer to be arrested. Consider your fine paid in full. Try and stay mm. out of trouble. That's not going to be it. Of course it ain't. It's the Empire. Let's get out of here. How many credits do we have left? 35,000. Enough wow. for two tickets on the shuttle and a little extra. Cross here. Where's Betcha? You looking for that hound? No. No, you've got to be kidding me. No. 
Don't take that, sure. You know wish you win? Sure do. But the answer's gonna cost you. Ten thousand <sighs> credits. I'm getting tired of this. Me too. Okay, okay, five. But that's my final offer. That's all the extra money gone. That Imperial officer and his troopers snatched the creature and headed for the cargo docks. Down that way. Nice doing business with you. Shut up, Oliver. You heard him. Betcha's this way. And the spaceport is that way. Forget the Hound. We have to get off this planet. We no. never would have escaped without Betcha. You're making a mistake. I'm not abandoning her. I mean, I can see both sides. I don't know. It's a difficult situation. Take the credits. If you want to go, then go. He's not gonna go. I'm my own way. He's not gonna do it. Of course he won't. You can't fool me. Ross has like a chihuahua. He's all bark but no bite. He says these things like he said before in episode one that he would abandon her without a second thought. It's all lies. <laughs> You utter a holes. Fine. We'll do this your way. I knew it. But my skills are being wasted. Hey, it's a backup plan, you know? That could come in handy. That sounded like a pork. Please tell me I want to see a pork. Porgs are my absolute favourite. Oh, I know that sound from anywhere. Oh no! There's Betcha. Shouldn't we free the other animals too? Don't push it. I thought you'd come searching for your mum. Yeah, unfortunately for you, Lau has a very strict pet policy. Come on, man! No license means a hefty fine. How much this time? How about you give me all my money back? No. <laughs> Credits won't do you any good when Hemlock shows up. Or do you think I wouldn't piece it together when I found that crashed shuttle? Uh, no. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Night to do with that. Nothing gets by me. Hand over the credits and surrender. <sighs> All right. Let's try things your way. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see if there's any porgs. They're all going too fast. I want to see at least one porg. I'll handle this. Take Batcher and power up the ship. <laughs> this is that vine. I think it's a vine. Or it's like, I'm a giraffe. You guys say Colorado. I'm a giraffe. But Star Wars edition. He might experience some unpleasant feelings <laughs> from that. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm on it. I hope your takeoffs are better than your landings. We're about to find out. That was my favourite part of Fallen Order, just force pushing everybody off the of sides. <laughs> it really amuses me, I don't know why. It's just amazing. They may be able to track the ship. Which concerns me. The girl and CT9904 were in the spaceboat. They escaped aboard a cargo freighter. Track the ship and notify all our operatives. I want her found. And I want to have like a hot tub that gives me different fragrances like flowers or like cinnamon in the, in the winter. But we don't get what we want all the time, do we, Hat Hook? The Empire will be able to track this vessel. We need to ditch it. We will. I'm heading to a remote location, and I sent a coded transmission for Hunter and Wrecker to meet us there. Are we going to see them? It's... it's been months. We don't know if they're still alive. They'll be there. Oh, please tell me they'll be there. Why does that planet look like an egg? Yeah, but is it definitely the Marauder? Now 
there's a sight. Rika. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even sure your message was real. <laughs> Rika. Oh, don't. I knew you'd show up. But where's Hunter? Across the galaxy four times looking for you. Five. One who found us. Don't do this to me. I've just done my makeup. We missed you, cutie. We never stopped searching. How did you escape? Oh dear, how uh yeah, happy reunion guys. Tough crowd. <laughs> At least we got to see Omega and Hunter and Rika reunite before they leave us. Oh my god. So that was episode four of the Bad Batch. They're all finally reunited. Well, semi reunited because we just got to get Rex and Echo back, which I mean, in episode two, they mentioned about meeting them in two rotations. So that would have had to have been one rotation. So we should be seeing them in the next episode, hopefully. Of course, when Tech comes back, because he is coming back. He is. <laughs> but that is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and my reaction. Stick around for future reactions to the other episodes and I'll catch you all in the next one.